Welcome to Trading Lounge, to the gold and silver report for the 3rd of February. Not a lot to report on gold, um, but we will just uh, shoot the breeze on it uh, quickly. Um, right, so we've got wave 3 up here, and we're looking for uh, wave 4. It's possible that wave 4 is in this space here. It's also possible that wave 4 can move down into the 38.2% retracement level here before seeing further upside here. That's the reality of it. And we'll have a look at that uh, now. So um, moving in from the weekly chart to the daily chart here. There's, as you know, there's been a couple of ways we can uh, view this. And one of them is with wave B up through there. You could probably put wave A here as well. Um, there's a couple of things that we could look at here is that we, we could price, we could label all this um, a WXY and put a, a Y here and finish in three waves. So an A wave, a B wave and a C wave finishing uh, this down in 1750, 1720 sort of area here. So it's pretty much the same length as that um, over here. So that's possible. Then we move up from that point. Let me just clean this up a little bit. We don't need that or that. Um, we don't even need that one. Don't need that. So yeah, look, we can either have um, an ABC to finish off here and then move up or from wave B here down to wave C, we're looking at five waves. So from that top here, down here as wave one, so wave one here, and then wave two here, and then going down for wave three, four, and five for this. And I think this is kind of interesting coming down here. I mean, that would take a, another month to come down. So that would really drag things on for all the, the, the gold stackers. Um, I'm, I'm from Australia and uh, this is our got main gold stock over here, which is Newcrest Mining. Okay, so uh, these are years here, and it's a daily chart. And what I'm interested in is this particular pattern here for this. So I'd always figured that this was an A wave down here, a B wave back up, and a C wave here. So it's looking like a bit of a flat correction in that it's got you know. Um, well, it's come up to the top here, and normally wave C would take the bottom out here and so on. This is the wave 4 of one lesser degree. Um, so, um, but I think coming back down into the 20, 21, 22, 23 area would be about right here. So in this leg down here, what I've been looking for here, just keeping it brief... Um, because I know that a lot of people don't look at this stock, but um, oh, where's my drawing tool? So look, we can look at this as as um, as as uh, wave one down to here, and then we can look at this as one and two and three and four and five here. So we still need another. We still need another. Um, we need to see. Um, well, first of all, there's another five waves to come from this here down into this space. And we still need that wave four in this space here as well. So we still need this wave four to come in and, and then this wave one here. So, you know, if I estimate the length of wave one here, sorry, it's out of the screen. If I estimate this here, I'll just say... Look, it looks more than a month. I mean, 20 trading days is a month, so it looks more than that, but I said a, I said a month, um, so something around that, maybe a tad longer, before this stock bottoms out here. So our stock market is going up, uh, and this stock is going down. So it's been going down uh, in line with uh, with gold, so to speak, um, and I just feel that there's another structure to, to tack on here for this. So... Um, that would make sense to me that we need to come down here further. How we come down is the question. Do we come down uh, in this structure here, just this length here being the same length as this one here, uh, roughly speaking, um, or do we come down in this third wave that would take us uh, a bit lower? It would take this length here plus another 60% probably being a third wave. So it can come down uh, lower into that space. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, yeah, so on the 
we can just move in here now and have a look at this little consolidation that we've been chatting about for a while. Well, well first of all, we've got this situation here. So this is just that same sort of picture here. So we come down for an A wave, a B wave and a C wave for wave. Y, for wave Y and that would be roughly, let's just do that while we're here. So just getting an idea of that. Let's just say that that's that. So, so that's about right here for that. And then the third wave that would come down further, that would be end up being down here for that and wave four here and then wave five. Now, the other thing that we have to address, which we'll do now is that is this correction here. Yes, we do have a five wave structure down here. That's cool. So that means we should get a three wave counter trend. So we've got this A wave, B wave, and it doesn't really count very well as the C wave here. It has made a new high above here just. So we could possibly bring that over to here, but I'm a bit unsure about that. I'm just wondering if we actually have something a bit more complicated like the A wave here than an A wave, a B wave and a C wave that will come down here and then push up there and then fold down here in one way or another. So that's what's sort of bugging me a little bit. So we're just going to go in and have a closer look at that. Maybe you just go straight to the tick chart, maybe. So I've got it labeled here as an A wave and a B wave, but don't worry about that too much just yet, because it could be wave two and so on and so on. So <clears throat> the question is, is really all about this here. And I can, we can look at this as we can even look at this and um, we can look at this as a five wave structure. And that was pointed out to me. Um, thank you for that. And um, this particular move here is pretty straightforward. So if we just take a quick look at that. So from here, we've got wave one here and two here. And then we can look at all of the third wave down to here. I'm not too worried about that spike but then wave four and wave five. So that's wave C on that low here. So if this was going to be wave C up here, right, for wave B or whatever, I just don't get five waves out of this, you know? I mean, do we put wave C over here and, to, and look at this as an A, B, C, D and E here? But that looks impulsive here to me. So that's a bit sort of, that throws me out a bit as well. So it counts up here more like an A, B, C pattern here. So then down for one, back for two, down for three, four and five down here. So that's what I'm thinking, just to make things more complicated. Wave B could be sitting over here. So the A wave over here, then an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here for the B wave and then go up from that point. That's what I'm thinking. And then we go down from that point, which, you know, I mean, that makes it even sort of more complicated, but that's what we'd be sort of thinking about, you know. I mean, things are pretty complicated. Things have been pretty complicated all the way through here, isn't, isn't it? I mean, is it wrong to assume that we're going to get, get you know, a little bit more complicated in here? I think we need to be very careful with all of this. That's what I think. I think that we could go, we could go short down, down here, right? It doesn't matter if it comes from this, this move down or this move down, but at the 18 here, we would need to see it as the resistance. That's it's just as simple as I can get it. So that would need to be the resist. We need that low below the level, like something a bit like that or whatever. And then if it breaches it from that point, then we can then you can look to go short at that point. But this is not looking impulsive to the upside here in any way. I mean, we could look at this as wave one, I suppose, an A and a B and a C for wave two. That sort of works. Um, we'll keep an eye on that. But we'll, but this move here will be five waves. So so I don't know if we should put this wave C and B on, on here. Or that we should put, or we give it some consideration and, and look at this one over here for this. 
I'm sorry I just don't have any answers for you today, but if I'm going to put videos out, you know, every day or every second day on this, then, you know, we're going to get stuck with these situations, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of that, really. Just put this back here. Just the hourly chart here, so I just wanted to... Just wanted to update this while you, you guys were here as well. So it's just something that we've got to work through. We might have to rule it out, but this moves down here is not finished. I mean, we could look at this as an A and a B and a C wave, a small little low uh, to finish off here, but I think that we need that four and five here for this, and then getting five waves up here, and then coming down. Uh, we could still, I don't know if we could still be in the triangle pattern or not. Um, I think that was here somewhere. I mean, we've got to look at these things. So wave three over here, all the way down for the A wave, the B, the C, the D, and the E wave here. I mean, I'll leave it there, and um, uh, we'll consider it. You know, I mean, I mean, it's that the whole thing's so messy anyway. Anything's likely to happen, so. Um, but what we're not seeing is we're not seeing a trend in either direction. So we're, we're just traveling sideways across, you know, the 1800. And I think that we're just going to continue to see stormy weather, really. Um, so be very careful about um, trading this at this stage. Uh, and it's only at the 18 here becomes the retested resistance that we will see further downside at that point. OK, so I'm just going to save that and then we'll have a look at silver. Okay, with silver here, um, well, last time we spoke about, this is a weekly chart, so last time we spoke about it, we were looking at two patterns, so <clears throat> first of all, wave four being finished here, and then we started a bullish run with wave one, and, and just, we're in the third wave now, just continuing to the upside here, uh, in, in uh, five, five waves. The other point that we're looking at was this one over here, where we would look at this as an A wave, a B wave to here, and then a C wave moving down, which would probably come a bit lower, and then push up from that point. So they're the two counts, and the unfortunate thing is we don't have any answers yet. We just need to see a more price action to give us a bit of direction on this. So we'll go in and we'll explore both of these, and we'll have a uh, close look at the, at the current um, pump and dump thing here at the moment. And I don't even know, I mean... Has anybody actually um, been on WSB um, or the Discord or any of those sort of things and can verify that um, the WSB boys are, are bets are, are, are playing in this? Um, so that would be good to know. Um, I mean, I've had a quick look myself. I couldn't see it myself, um, but it will be interesting to know. Um, okay, so this is a weekly chart, and we're going to have a look at the two counts. So we'll just move in. So on the on the bearish count, it would be like this with wave three over here. Just going to lift that up a size here. As I mentioned before, when we went over to the new trading platform, it sort of shrunk all the font sizes. So I'm slowly putting them back together. Um, so down here for the A wave, and then an A and a B and a C for the B wave here. And then we're looking at five waves down here that are not completed yet. And then as wave one and two and three and four and five coming back into this space. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's real and uh, it could certainly play out and we just need to be mindful of it, that's all. Uh, at some point it will tell us that that's not the case. The more bullish count, I think we had it about here somewhere which would be wave three over here and coming down from an A and a B and then one, two, three, four and five for the C wave of wave four and then up for wave one here, back for wave two 
and I can count five waves up to this point here, so we can look at this as wave two. It has pulled back just a smidgen past the 61.8%, so really we wouldn't want to see this come down into this space here. If that's the case, then we would need to rule this count out, okay? So if it came back to $25, then Houston, we've got a problem, okay? Uh, so that means we need to understand this, but let's just say that that's correct. Then we'd see wave three push up strong and wave four and, and wave five and so on. It'll continue to the upside at that point. So the, um, let's drill in here. I wonder, I'll just go, I think we counted up here on, the 15 minute chart didn't we we started counting no it must have been on the tick chart and it'll come back to that i'll just check this out here so we must have counted this up on the tick chart so we'll have a look at that at the moment so obviously that's the top but when i look at this move up here i see that as wave one and two here and probably all of wave three here and i'm wondering if this is wave four and wave five sitting here because this leg hasn't finished off um anyway that's a topic to be discussed i can see that well let's just work from the bottom up one two and three and four and five so we could call all that one structure there this would be that would all have to be one structure to that point it's got overlapping wave structures but we'll just call that there we'll clarify that on the tick chart so we could look at this as an ABC for the A wave here, then the B wave, and five waves down here for the C wave, okay? But that means that um, we would need to, I mean, because this could be a wave four moving up here as an A wave, a B wave, and, and one, two, three, four, five coming up here. So if it was going to be a wave four, then we would see it at the 38.2% which is on which is all around the 2750 market which is all around this consolidation area here for that so so with that in mind I can just put that well that's 50% so I'll just put this line in here just so we can see that so it could come to here and fail right that's what it can do and if it did that then we know that our bullish count is over at that point because we could look at this i mean even if we looked at that just look at this here that brings us that's the 61.8 percent that's the 78.6 which is fine um anywhere down here is fine um but like i mentioned we we don't want to see this market down at the 25 here because if that's the case then that bullish count that we've had is is uh is gone at that point what makes it bullish now though <clears throat> is that if you wanted to look to go long now we know that rough count there and we'll just clarify that on the tick chart but um if we see a classic trading levels pattern sitting on top of the 27.50 which is up above this consolidation area here um, then we can look to go long at that point, okay? So, um, let's just go to the tick chart now. Let's just clarify a few things. Have to get some more data in. Okay, so this is where we were last time. So, I think we were up here somewhere, weren't we, looking for wave four. But, um, one and two here in that case and then one and two and five waves here for three and four and then the third wave of the fifth wave here one and two and three and four and five and wave four and wave five i just want to have a look at that situation oh no we could look at one and two in here and three and four an extension in the fifth like we did here this is the extension in the fifth so that's its fingerprint um, so we can take it from there. I mean, do we count that down as one? That's another question as one here in ABC for 
two and three and four and five here, then an A, B, C. So do we have that as one and two and then one and two or an, or an A, an A, B and C for the A wave here? So that's what I don't know. That's what we need to figure out. So A, B, C for that. So that so that can make it the a wave oh okay that's great so an a wave here b wave over here and a c wave right on this low here so now i just want to have a look at um at this side here just just want to focus on this a little bit just see if i've got that right So we could look at this as one, two, three, four, five here, but the problem with that we've got that overlap here for that, so that's a bit of an issue. So that means that well if I start from the bottom up, that might be okay. So we can see we got one, two, three, four, five there, or I'll just take it from there, one, two, three, four, five for the time being. One, two, th three, four, five. So we'll just put adjust it in a minute we'll just have a look that one would be there well that makes that one two three four five there doesn't it so that can go in fact that can go there now that can go there that's five waves one two three so then it would leave this here as it looks like some sort of fourth in there doesn't it so that one two three four five I don't know about that so that would have to be all of that there and that one so if maybe have all of that as one and two and three and four and five no so that's got to go there I'll just put it there for the moment it's, well it's twice that it's ended up there then that's, so that looks like about it actually so if this was going to I mean there is a problem with that overlap there um, I'll mull that, mull that over a little bit later on and I've got a bit more time so that's a 38.2% retracement there so it can go to it can go to here and fail at that point. Well, I have to say as well, it's likely to have a correction there anyway. So never act too quickly. You would need to see a five wave structure down here. Okay. Um, but that gives us a little bit of, I mean, this is the big number here, this this number, the, the 800, that's what, what it's really, um, I'm just, double thickness that up there I mean, that's the real <clears throat> that's the real point there that we need to be above well, we don't need to be above that but I mean that turns it bullish at that point so all we need to do is we just need to wait for some more information on the wind so to speak and just see if that's a wave four coming into play that's a wave four of one lesser degree so that really means that we need to take that and that top and that would be the target for that so we need to get past this point here to understand where we are that's about the best I can do at this point and of course let's just draw this in here that if it is bullish then we want to see a classic trading levels pattern sitting on the 28 and then we want to be going long on these highs here for that um, and I, w I won't I won't get into going short here because we're in two thirds of the trend going down. There'd be another two lows here. We would have to take the short trade off the 2500. And what I mean by that is that we would see um, the market or the 
is going to get support at 20 at 26 as well and but 25 here that's where we would see a bigger bounce at that point right and that's where we can start to look to go short at that point if indeed that's the case okay um, so we won't go short in in through here um, because we're too late in the trend and we will look to catch the bounce because then we would have five waves down at that point and that's what we've got to figure out with this um, I'm just working with the evidence rather than opinions here and the evidence is is what I can scrape up and work out so that's um, that's all I can offer Alrighty, um, thanks for tuning in, much appreciated, cheers.